What's up guys, Denver Gamer back. Today I'm going to show you how to mod the Nintendo Wii starting with the Homebrew channel. Uh, it is 2021, you'll notice that there's no music in my videos, it's because I had a problem before with video game music getting flagged, even the theme music, so you're just going to get my sweet buttery voice today. Um, I'll have them all on a playlist for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and help each other out with that. I cannot get to every single comment, but this is a positive community. So help each other out. Answer questions for each other, okay? Um, so let's get into it. But first, if you like my videos, leave a like, leave a comment. Please do me the honor of giving me a subscribe. That is a small click for you, but it means a very big deal to me. And if you want to be updated on my videos, Ring the bell for notifications. All right, guys, let's go over what you're going to need to get this done. You're going to need your Nintendo Wii and a computer. Also, a 2 gigabyte SD card. I prefer the one that was made for the Nintendo Wii by SanDisk. I'll leave a link to buy those on eBay. Also, you will need a larger SD card. I like the 32 gigabyte SD cards you can find on Amazon for very cheap. I'll leave a link for that as well. And if your computer doesn't have it, you'll need an SD card reader. So with that being said, we can go over to the Nintendo Wii and start prepping it to get this thing modded the way I like to do it. That's the way I'm going to show you how I like to do it. So I got this Wii at a garage sale for $10, and as you can see, there's all types of stuff on there that I don't want on there. I really want to start with a clean slate. So what I'm going to do is format this Wii first and get it back to its original factory settings with no extra stuff on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the Wii menu, select Wii settings, and scroll to the right two screens, you can just hit the plus button and go to format Wii system memory. Select that, all channels will be erased, blah, 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 hit format, hit format, again, you know, the Wii shop channel will be gone, and then hit format on the other side now. It's just making sure that you really wanna get rid of all this data. Now, you do not have to do this. This is what I like to do because I wind up formatting a lot of Wii's for these videos. If you have a bunch of save data that you want to keep, I'll show you in a little bit the settings you'll need to change, but basically you're just going to have to really make sure the date and time are accurate and a few other things. But again, these are my preferences. I want, like I said before, a very clean slate to work with. And there we go. We Wii system memory has been formatted. The Wii console will now shut down. Go ahead and select OK. And now it will shut off. You can see no signal because my video capture device uh, is not receiving a signal right now. Press the power button to bring it back on. This will just take a second. And we're going to go through this, select A, and we're gonna select the language. My language is obviously English, so I'll confirm that. My sensor bar is above the TV. And this is important. The date and time need to be accurate. Okay. So today is June 12th. Actually, well, let me double check that real quick. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Ah, it's June 13th. It's 2021. All right. Confirm. Now we're going to put the time correctly to 1253. Confirm. I like widescreen. Confirm. Be sure to set your TV, blah, blah, blah. All right. Console nickname. Let's just name it uh, YT for YouTube. There we go. Okay. Confirm. Ah. <sighs> Country, down at the bottom, United States. All right. No, we don't need parental controls. All right. Press A to continue. Now, I don't like those channels, but I'm going to show you where to move them in a second. Let's go back into the Wii settings.
All right. You got to be on version 4.3. Letter bomb only works with 4.3, okay? And just let me pause that real quick, guys. Don't forget to set the date and time in the calendar if you did not format your Wii, okay? So make sure the date and time are correct. Let's go over a screen. Wii Connect 24. Mine is not going to be set up, but make sure you switch Wii Connect 24 to off if you're not formatting your Wii. You do not want this on. If it updates, you'll lose your modded console. Go into Internet, go into Console Information, and write down this MAC address on a piece of paper. And no, I don't care if you guys know my MAC address on this machine, because I have like 40 more in the basement. Go back, back again, back again. I'm going to go back out to the main menu. Now, press the trigger button if you want to do this. I don't want these channels here. Press the trigger button to hit A and drag them to that arrow on the right and drop them off at the last screen. There's going to be so many better channels, guys, that you're going to put in here. You're going to have an NES channel, a Super Nintendo channel, a Sega channel, TurboGrafx-16, you name it. Be all types of stuff. And you don't need these lame weather and news channels that are pretty much obsolete uh, hanging out in there, okay? Now look, look at this. Nice and clean slate. This is what I was going for, okay? All right, so now that we have it set up, we're going to go over to the computer and download the necessary files to soft mod this week. All right, guys, it's pretty much smooth sailing from here. Make sure you plug in your SD card into your computer, all right? I'm going to show you here, but take a note of what drive your SD card is. It's G on this computer. You're going to need to remember that, okay? Go over to this website, please.hackme.com, and this is where you will download your letter bomb, all right? System menu version 4.3U E. J or K, that stands for what region your Wii is from, okay? So if you're in Japan, you need the 4.3 J. If you're in Europe, 4.3 E. I'm in the USA, so 4.3 U is what I will pick. And go ahead and enter in your MAC address. Also, the K stands for Korea, if anybody was wondering, all right? All right, bundle the HackMe installer, have that check mark there. Click that you're not a robot and click one of these buttons. It doesn't matter, I always click the red because I want the red pill. Save that file it's downloading to your SD card, which is drive G for me. Now you're gonna need to have WinRAR or 7-Zip or some type of unzipping program I use WinRAR. I'll leave a link for that in the description. And what you do is you right click the zipped file. And just select extract here. This will take just a minute to extract and you can go ahead and delete that zip file. Okay. And you really only need two files here. You need the private folder and the boot doll, but there's a bunch of important readmes here. And I always suggest that you read the readme files, guys. You guys never do it, okay? Just do it. <laughs> this private folder has all types of folders inside of it. It's just uh, that letter bomb that's gonna pop up in your mail on your Wii. And you got the boot doll there. And again, all of the instructions. So if you're getting you know, stuck, look in the readme file. So go ahead and uh, eject your flash card safely, your SD card, and let's hop onto the Wii. All right, awesome. This is exciting. We got this nice new Wii to, to work with. Now see this little SD card slot that's grayed out? You want to plug in your SD card into the front of your Wii. There you go. It turns blue. That means it's plugged in and then go over to the uh, the mail message board there. And for some reason, it's not here on the on 613, it's in 612. And select that red envelope. 
And I think it's not in 613 because of the time zone that the letter bomb is downloading from. So sometimes it will be one day off. So you have to switch back and forth to find it. Now this um, software must not be sold uh, disclaimer. Uh, they really, really wanted you to see this. So this is going to be here for like 30 or 60 seconds. And when that's up, we're going to be able to hit the one button on the Wiimote. Anytime. Any, anytime. There we go. Hit the one button. All right. This is just some information. Can be installed. BootMe can be installed as an iOS. We're going to go ahead and continue. Scroll up to the top and hit install the homebrew channel. Yes to continue. It's only going to take a, a second. There we go. Success. Continue. Now scroll down to boot me. Select that. Scroll up to install boot me as an iOS. Now I'm going to pause here for a second. Two things. One, if you have a really old Wii, you might get the option to install as a boot too. I'll leave some information about that in the description. The second thing is you need to remove your two gigabyte SD card now and put in your larger 32 gigabyte SD card because it's going to write files necessary to back up your NAND, which is N A N D. The NAND is basically uh, your, your flash memory on your Wii. So you want to back it up safely before we start going and playing with it. But we'll do that in the next video. So anyway, remove the two gigabyte SD card, put in the 32 gigabyte SD card, and now select yes to continue. And that fast, you've installed boot me as well and all the runtime files on your SD card. Go down to return to main menu and go down to exit, and this is going to boot you back out to your new homebrew channel. It's going to be blank right now, but you'll be putting a lot of stuff in here. And if you hit the home button, it'll bring up your menu, and you'll want to do that so you can see that launch boot me is in fact there. That means it's installed, okay? We're going to scroll down to exit to system menu. You can do that with your arrows, or you can use the Wiimote by pointing it at your TV. It doesn't matter. And this will bring us out to the main menu. And there it is. The homebrew channel, my friends. You have done it. Isn't that exciting? You didn't think you could do something like this. At least I didn't a long time ago. And it really is that simple. You just need, you know, simplified guides. And I know it's tough to go to some of these forums where these guys just talk to you so condescending like you're an idiot. Trying to ask questions and then... You know, like, whoa, you don't even know? Come on, bro. You know? No, I don't know. So that's the point of these videos is to make it as easy and understandable as possible. And you know what? This uh, has some really great music, too, but I had to mute it. I had to mute all music for these videos, so I, I don't want them flagged. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time and stop talking. Like, comment, please give me a subscribe, and I will see you next video.